You're, you're here doing another Comics Come Home. The first time I saw you do Comics Come Home was, I think, Comics Come Home 15. Wow. And you did a song that's been stuck in my head ever since. Do you remember what it was? No, was it uh, You Spit When You Talk? No. Was it car Wash? Oh my god, Car Wash for Peace? Yes! Yeah, the only person who remembers that. <laughs> I, I mean, I barely remember that. I wrote that one. That was a great jam. Oh, Dude. I it was like, oh, Car Wash for Peace. There's trouble in the Middle East. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ask him. I was singing that all day. Yeah, I'm trying to make it work. I just thought I go. Well, come on, let's just solve this. Whatever, you, however we can do it. You had the entire Aganis Arena singing it and clapping. <laughs> it's so fun. That's the best part of doing these shows. You get to see a bunch of great comics, and uh, also you get to sing with the band if you can, if you're lucky yeah. enough. And Dennis has some. He has some musical stuff planned for tonight. Because, yeah. like, when you start doing comedy, you think like eventually you want to get to a place where you're on your show being interviewed by you or Rogan. But I, I do things backwards, and I'm interviewing you. So. Yeah, it's so smart. Yeah, you do this, and then when you come on the show, you go, "Do you remember the time I interviewed you?" And you go, <laughs> yes, and then we'll show pictures. We'll go to a clip. Yeah, we'll, this will be the clip, <laughs> and we'll show this exact clip. And you go, "I told you, I knew you'd make it." <laughs> yeah, so keep going. Buddy. And then going. you know it'll just be because I paid you. I won the lottery, and I paid no, you. Oh no, no, you'll be hosting. The you haven't seen my act. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I gotta watch that first. Yeah, my my cousin's been on your show though. Who's that now? Um, he's he's the drummer for um, damn it, I'm forgetting his name. He has a face that's tattoo. A great, um, no, that's uh, a great name for a band. <laughs> damn it, I'm forgetting his name. It's so good. Dominic Fike. He's the drummer for Dominic Fike. Oh yeah, Dominic, dude, he's fantastic. Yeah. His cover of the new Paul McCartney uh, uh, thing he did was yes. phenomenal. By the way, yes. I thought my that was my favorite. Is the drummer for oh, that? So great. Yeah, so he's beating me right now. <laughs> no, you got it. You're, you're getting close. <laughs> Shout out Ryan Reigns. So yeah. we weren't recording. Oh, I mean, I'm just. I mean, what can you do now? Chrissy Chaos is here, so it's just it's rubbing off. That's what it is, dude. I turned off your tape recorder with my balls. Before, when we weren't recording, we were talking about how you just had another daughter. You have two. I just had my first daughter, year and a half, and it's been helping me a lot listening to you on the podcast, talking about like what's going on in your head because a lot of the same shit is going through my head. Here's the thing, man. I'm so happy I have a daughter, but if I'm helping you with fatherhood, that's not good. Uh, no. My situation's not good anyway. No, no, is it not good? Are you just... Oh, dude, living, are you living back home now? What's going on? Divorce? What's going on? And I'm also a stand-up comedian, and I have a podcast, and not, like, at your level. <laughs> dude, listen. Here's the thing, dude. You, what you got to do... Somebody asked me the other day, what's the key to success in podcasting? I said, bring on a transgender Latino person. That's all you need to do. It's great, to, it's great to have a kid. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I, I don't feel like I'm doing a good job. But no, dude, yeah. you're doing a great job. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. And both our kids one day will know the truth. Just a couple of gay guys doing pods. This Dude, your cameraman looks like you chain him up in a basement after every production. That's my brother. He's my intern. That's your brother? <laughs> yeah. Dude, do, do you th how, do you think he's, how do you think he's doing in life? Your brother, you think he's doing good? Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah. I'm stronger than him. No, dude, you're good, man. You're good. You, you stay in Boston, stay at a hotel. You, you want to get some uh, pizza, watch a History Channel movie or something? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's get some pizza. Yeah, I'm staying in a hotel by the airport. <laughs> <laughs> you picking up comedy now in retirement? Absolutely, yeah. yeah? Stomping out states tonight. Why not? I always thought you'd you know, be in a band because you're a drummer, right? Self-proclaimed. Trying to be. No. <laughs> Me too. Uh, no no drumming, no comedy. Just <laughs> trying to stay in the background. So if e even on like a dare, you won't e do like five minutes out there? I would not. No. Oh. You'd have to pay a lot of money <laughs> for me to do that. Well, it's good to see you again, man. Thank you. I mean, this comic's come home 26. You've yeah. done pretty much all of them, huh? Everyone except one. There was a little police matter in Los Angeles. But uh, other than man. that, I, 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 it's been good. Yeah, we had a good run. <laughs> and now you, uh, you're you working tonight with uh, somebody who played their uncle, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, you I love him. Oh, yeah. He's great. Yeah, I played his uncle. And, you know, not a lot, it, I, I just love that guy. He's terrific. Now, do you feel since Rescue Me, you've been typecast as Uncle Lenny because you played Uncle Teddy, uncle. you were Uncle There, and then you were the uncle in uh, um, um, uh, Stronger. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I, I tell you what. I don't care what they want me to play, you know. And now I'm going to try to play Sexy Grandpa, you know. Because my, my buddy Chris Evans, he's the sexiest man in the world. I voted for you. I want to be the sexiest grandpa. We're here with Cam Neely. I mean, this is this is your whole thing. I mean, how, how does it feel to be doing it for 26 years? It's unbelievable, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I keep waiting for Dennis to say, I'm done, I'm done. But he keeps like, no, we're going, we're going. So 26 years is pretty impressive. I mean, it says a lot about stand-up comedy and also, you know, helping people with cancer. And you've, you've been known to be... A thespian. Um, so, have have you ever given a thought to doing five minutes one year? I couldn't do five seconds. 
I mean, I, I got quick wit in a conversation, but to actually put material together and, and get out there, no chance of that. Well, it's just like being in a hockey fight, you know? It's like you, you don't know what you're going to do. I could happily bomb and walk off the stage. That would be me. <laughs>